Touched by the Falcons, so Wyoming maintains possession of the basketball. All eight of the points scored by the Cowboys have come off the uh, hot hand of Sean O'Geary, who has the ball here. Kicks it back out to Brandon Ewing. In traffic, he goes off the glass, and he gets his first two. A tremendous penetrator. You saw the hang time, and then he gently kisses it off the glass. A tough shot, and he can make tough shots. Brandon Ewing leads the conference in scoring at 18.5 points per game. If he can hold that spot, he'd be the first player in Mountain West Conference history to lead the league in scoring three consecutive years. Holland too strong on that. Everybody for the Falcons bailed out on that rebound, and Jabril Chom, who's coming into the game, 25, got the... Uh, the ball, and Ewing overshoots Tyson Johnson. That's out of bounds. Well, we've seen some sloppy play and yep. good play both in this game. Yeah, no, both teams have uh, been sloppy with the basketball. Unforced mistakes, unforced turnovers. Of course, it's a tennis term, and I know you love tennis, and you cover tennis very well for the mountain, but <laughs> that was an unforced error, and you can't afford those, particularly if you're on the road. Hinky buries the three. Andrew Hinky averages 12 points per game to lead the Falcons. Gets his first shot to fall. Outstanding standstill shooter, Bill. And if you're Wyoming, you have to make a player like Andrew put the ball on the floor. You can't let him just rise up and shoot it because he'll knock it down most of the time. The Falcons have two of the top three-point shooters in the conference in Matt Holland and Andrew Hinkie, both shooting over 40%. And A.J. Davis is called for traveling as he makes his way to the basket. And Afan Mujeki checks back into the Wyoming lineup. Ben Davis will take a seat on the bench. That's the fourth turnover on the Cowboys in this half. And we're just six minutes in. And what we're seeing, uh, as I mentioned, these are not turnovers because of pressure defense. These are bad decisions. Ewing throws one in the section C. Then we had Davis with a turnover and a walk. There's four for Wyoming, and Air Force has two. Holland left alone on the right side. He buries the three. Where's the defense? Well, apparently they did not get the scout report because you have to make Holland and Hankey put the ball on the floor because they'll knock down threes if they're open, and that's what they've done the last couple of possessions. Back-to-back -back threes for the Falcons, and Air Force has the lead back. 12-10 is our score. These two teams met in Laramie back on January 27th. O'Geary gets tangled up in front of the Falcon bench. And the alternate possession arrow points in the direction of the Cowboys, so Wyoming maintains it. When you are defending, Bill, the, the spread offense, you have to keep your man in front of you. You can't give up the back door, so you have to have one eye on the ball, one eye on your man. But you cannot allow Air Force, if you're Wyoming, you can't allow them to shoot standstill three-pointers, particularly two of the best three-point shooters in, in the conference. So I'm sure Coach uh, Schroer will be upset. He won't be upset about that move by Tyson, the Maytag man, Johnson. Johnson with a strong move to the basket to tie it at 12. Tyson Johnson averages 14 points per game for the Cowboys. He ranks 11th in the conference in scoring. Wyoming has four of the top 12 scorers in the league. For the longest time, those four guys were in the top 10. Top of the key, Hankey hits again. Well, he was hot in against Colorado State last week, and a timeout is called by, by Wyoming, and he, Sawyer's got to be telling his team, look, they have two guys who are as good as anybody in the country at shooting the ball behind the arc. How about you go find him? It's not that complicated.